Chapter 926 Elaine was very confident at this time. As she packed her belongings, she said to the people around her, By the way, those of you who have raised your hands to hit me before this, will not have a chance to run away. Let me tell you something. I am very powerful outside. Starting today, I will wait for each and every one of you to be released from this detention center. I will definitely beat up each and every one of you when you leave the detention center. Let me see if you still dare to bully me in the future. Elaine cursed and scolded each and every one of the inmates in the cell until the expressions on all of the inmates' faces were very ugly. Elaine was finally satisfied after she was done scolding them. At this time, Elaine had already finished packing up her belongings. She was about to leave with the prison guard when she suddenly felt the urge to pee. She muttered to herself, Damn it, why do I have to pee at this time? After that, she continued muttering, No! The atmosphere in this cell is simply too bad. I will definitely have bad luck if I take my urine out of this place. I have to pee and release everything here before I leave. As she thought about this, Elaine sneered at Lady Richard and Brabus before she said contemptuously, I happen to have a load of pee right now. I will leave it behind here for you guys. After she was done speaking, Elaine started humming as she turned around and walked into the toilet. The group of people outside was silent because they were all so angry and frustrated because of Elaine. Lady Richard clutched her chest as she said angrily, I am so angry. I am truly furious right now. My unfilial son must have come here to bail her out. Brabus asked, Your son came to bail her out but he will not bail you out? Isn't he too much of a bastard then? Lady Richard cried pitifully as she said, My son is also a useless man. He has always been manipulated by her and he is under the control of this shrewd woman. They do not want me to continue living in this world and they want an old lady like me to die. After that, Lady Richard deliberately instigated and sowed discord as she said to Brabus, Brabus, this woman is really very vicious. If she said that she is going to turn your mother's grave over, then she will definitely do as she said. You should restrain your sadness and be strong. When Brabus heard this, she suddenly felt blood rushing straight to her head and she could only tremble in anger. She gritted her teeth before she stood up and rushed into the toilet immediately. This would be her last chance to teach Elaine a lesson. If she did not seize this opportunity, then this bitch would really slip out of her hands. When Lady Richard saw Brabus rushing into the toilet furiously, she quickly followed Brabus into the toilet. At this time, Olivia and several other inmates who had been scolded by Elaine also rushed into the toilet. Elaine was peeing halfway when she suddenly heard someone slamming and kicking the toilet door open. After that, Brabus barged into the toilet and raised her leg before she kicked her down into the toilet bowl. At this time, Elaine's butt was stuck inside the toilet bowl and her legs were jutting out. Elaine was in extreme pain but she was stuck and she could not pull herself up at all. When Brabus thought about the fact that Elaine was going to turn her mother's grave over and throw her mother's ashes away, she was filled with anger and hatred. She hurriedly instructed the other inmates, beat her up. Let's kill her today. Let's see if this stinky wretch can continue showing off and acting as though she is really that great. The group of people started hitting Elaine's head and body at this time. Elaine was completely caught off guard and she cried as loud as the group of people started attacking her. She raised her hands desperately as she tried to block her opponent's fists and feet, but it was all in vain. At this time, there was a vicious look in Olivia's eyes. She had already wanted to beat Elaine up for the longest time but she never had the opportunity to do so. When she saw everyone in front of her attacking Elaine's upper body viciously, Olivia stepped forward before she held one of Elaine's legs in her hands. After that, she told Lady Richard, Grandma, why don't we just break this bitch's leg today? Otherwise, we will never have the chance to do this again. Okay. Lady Richard gritted as she nodded in agreement.